Hello, my friends. It's your buddy Keith here at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. I've got an awesome custom shop, Gibson, to show you today. This thing's got an insane green flame top finish that I have never seen before on a 56 reissue. Very gorgeous guitar. It's got the vintage style headstock logo and mother of pearl. Let's flip her around. You can see the custom shop logo there and the serial number there, number 19. It's 2001. Nice low serial number there. The, uh, the finish on it, I'm assuming, is a form of nitro over a flame top. I'm not sure if they do nitro on a flame top, but it has kind of the nitrocellulose effect to it. There are a few, yeah, you can kind of see, see it as I move the light over. You can see a little bit of the kind of waviness in the lacquer in the clear coat. You can see it all in here. Beautiful flame top. Um, I can't imagine they had this uh, green flame top finish in 1956. So I'm not sure if this is a one-off special order. I've looked everywhere on uh, Google image, image search for a 2001 or any 1956 reissue with this finish and can't find it. Also can't really find the name. It looks it looks like the Anaconda Burst that you see on the new Slash models. Um, I've also seen Ocean Burst. Not totally sure what they call this. Um, it looks like a much better version of the Anaconda Burst in person. That's what I would go with. You've got the great uh, binding over the frets there with the fret nibs. Gorgeous rosewood fretboard. Get back in focus there, guys. And there you go. And you can see it's a Les Paul Classic Edition custom shop. So it's not the same as the, uh, like a standard Les Paul Classics. It's a totally different beast here. You've got the P90 soap bar pickups, vintage style tone and volume knobs. We'll zoom in there. And really just a beautiful looking instrument. As far as condition goes, you can see there's a few little blemishes in the, the lacquer on the top surface there. There's one there, there's one there. There's a few little marks in the lacquer that I don't want to rub it too hard um, so I haven't tried to polish it or anything I don't know I'm not too familiar with these finishes so I don't know how sensitive the lacquer and clear coat is on the back you can see there's some you know light lines and swirl marks in the lacquer as is common but uh, a couple little things there. But overall, extremely presentable guitar. Going down the neck, there's uh, a couple little lines and marks there. And other than that, everything's quite nice. Gibson Deluxe Tuners with the vintage style buttons. Headstock's in great shape. Usually you see uh, chips on the corner there and there, but this is in very good shape. Very cool, guys. Let's go over the case and check that out. Got the nice crushed velvet, kind of maroon interior. And inside the storage compartment, a couple of picks, truss rod, tool, and the keys. That's what we've got, guys. So, I hope this gives you a good idea of what this guitar looks like in person. We'll flip her over one more time so you can see that 
killer flame top. I think it's almost a shame when you have a top this nice and people leave the pick guard on. Like I love seeing the flame top all the way through. But uh, you can have a lot of fun with this guitar. You could ditch the pick guard, swap out the P90s for mini humbuckers if you wanted, keep them the way they are. There's a lot of options you've got. I think if I were to keep it, I'd ditch the pick guard and I'd go with a pair of black mini humbuckers. But that's just me. That's my style. I like the heavy stuff. Um, you know, it is totally gorgeous the way it is and it sounds beautiful. So if you want something that looks a bit more modern and has a bit more of an edge to it, but still has a classic sound and styling, then I think this is the guitar for you. We've got it here at the studio. It's part of our Les Paul Custom Shop arsenal, which is growing by the day. We've got loads of them. If you wanna come record with us, you can come and use this guitar. And uh, until then, guys, what are we going to do? Well, this is going to be listed on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. It is going to be on Reverb as well. They host our website. And that's about it. So please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. It's Saturday morning. It's super early. And uh, I've got too many guitar videos to do today. So had to wake up bright and early and get this one done for you. I really appreciate you guys watching, commenting, giving feedback. If you know any history about this finish, this finish with this combination coming out of the custom shop at this era, 2001, let us know. You know, there's a lot of Gibson experts out there. I'm not one of them. I'm learning though. I'm trying to be one of them. So we love to see your comments here on the YouTube channel or send me a private message. Not a problem. The studio page on Facebook, it's Essex Recording Studios. We get messages from you guys all the time. Love it. Give us a like on there. We're just shy of 1,200 likes. And um, Instagram, we're growing that. Just at about, I think, like 1,300 followers there. Really appreciate that, guys. We're at Essex Recording Studios on the gram. So, signing off, your buddy Keith here at Essex Recording Studios. Coming up next... We've got, what are we going to do? We're going to do some vintage 70s Gibson SGs. All right, guys? See you soon in the next video. Adios.